Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today, we're going to be talking about warning signs someone is going to commit suicide, or rather, attempt suicide. Now, this is a very deep subject, and I'm only making this based off my own personal experience, like what I wish people would have seen when I was going to attempt suicide. So let's go on with the video. So first of all you have to have a suspicion that someone's suicidal and the signs of that are being socially withdrawn, getting rid of their belongings, social isolation, Spending large amounts of money, self harming, you know, there's just lots of things that people do that show that they're going to commit suicide. I'm going to say attempt suicide, not commit. Lydia! Ah! The warning signs. So you suspect someone is suicidal and you want to know whether they're going to attempt suicide. First of all, look out for feelings of loneliness, isolation, saying goodbye to people, and saying it like they're never going to see them again. I know in me, I wish people would have picked up on the fact that I was becoming withdrawn from things, not doing things I enjoyed doing, like YouTube, saying goodbye to my family, stockpiling, in my case, insulin and all in all just not showing that I don't want to be here anymore. My big sign that I didn't want to be anymore was that I was stockpiling my medication, that being insulin. And another thing with me is I stopped posting on YouTube for a while and that's not like me. I love making videos. It's what I do to motivate myself to get out of bed. Another warning sign someone could be about to attempt suicide is giving away their possessions. Like things that matter to them, they're getting rid of. I'm not focused. Nah, I am. But yeah, giving away things like clothes or s very sentimental items. giving out large amounts of money to people. If you see any of these signs in people, please, please reach out to them. I promise you, you're gonna do less harm. You're gonna do no harm in trying to talk to them about it. Most of the time, people who are suicidal want someone to notice because they wanna feel cared for and they want people to accept them. It's a hard one, but you have to try and be there for these people. It shows them that there's a reason to live. Because they don't need any help deciding whether they want to live or die. They want to die. All you can do is change their mind. So there is no harm in talking about suicide. If someone had spoke to me about it, I probably wouldn't have made an attempt. Just nobody caught the signs with me. Apart from the crisis team, which got me part of section three. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you're new, subscribe, join the growing family, turn notifications on, tick that little like button. But before I go, I want to give a shout out to Alana's GoFundMe page. Alana is my friend, she has chronic fatigue syndrome and She's currently trying to raise money to buy an electric wheelchair that she can use because of her chronic fatigue. I will link it in the description down below and it would mean a lot to me if you could go support her, share it. Yeah, just be there for her. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.